drinking is our favorite thing to do. Is that a good way to start the video? So after a long day at the parks, you want something to drink I, I, because, you know, people. So we're going to go around the park today and we're going to find some unique drinks that you just can't get anywhere else. And I think I know a couple that we should try, Saber. So let's go do it. I don't know. This is our first drink of the night. This is the Happy Days from ABC Commissary. It has coconut rum, melon liqueur, banana liqueur, grenadine, orange juice, and pineapple juice. It's beautiful. It's peach colored. It tastes just like a rum punch. It just tastes like pineapple juice. It's good. Oh yeah, you can taste the melon too. Five out of five. Love me some grenadine. You don't need any of this. This is mine. I don't? No, you don't. This is real dangerous. This is really good. It's really fruity. Really. Okay. <laughs> Getting a whole thing ser serenade in us. <laughs> Man. Is this the best drink you've had here in Forever? Hollywood Studios? Probably. I mean, wow, and how, it's only 13 bucks? You go to Ogus Cantina, spend like a million dollars, and not get something as good as this. We are at the Baseline Tap House. This place is beautiful. They have a cute little patio. They got the string lights. They have a bunch of different choices on the menu, including a charcuterie board. And they have like these coffee rubbed short ribs that I really want to try. We'll have to come back and do that. But we are here for the California sunset. This is the prettiest drink I think I've ever seen. It's got a nice little ombre, with absolute vodka, southern comfort whiskey, orange juice, sweet and sour, and a float of pomegranate juice, which looks like it's at the bottom now. But I'm gonna give it a try. You can taste the whiskey, but it's good. This one's stronger than the last one. I give it like a three out of five. You can taste what is it? Orange juice? You can taste the orange juice, but you can also taste the whiskey. So if you don't like the taste of alcohol, skip this one. Whiskey, you say? <laughs> Let me try. Wow. Is that sour? <laughs> you sound like you're being sarcastic. I know, but I'm not. It's really sour. It's okay. I like how it looks. I like where we got it from. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. But uh, not my favorite. But I can see how it could be somebody else's favorite. So I'm giving it... A 3.5 out of 5. Wow. I'm giving it 7 whiskeys out of 10. Sounds good? Yeah. It's beautiful. You know what? The more I drink it, the more it grows on me. 4 out of 5. Final deal. I'm locking it in. Where are we going to go next? It's getting dark out. Toy Story Land. Toy Story Land's going to be last. Stick around for Toy Story Land. We're riding Slinky Dog Dash after the next uh, 5 or 6 drinks. 5 or 6 drinks? Yeah. How many have we already had? Okay, so we are at the Brown Derby, and I got the Grapefruit Cake Martini, which is actually one of the original cocktails from the original Brown Derby in the 1940s. And it's pink, so I'm super excited to try this one. It is a combination of Deep Eddy Ruby Red Grapefruit Vodka, Stoli Vanilla Vodka, and a splash of cream. And then she put a little garnish of the pink grapefruit on the top, so it's really pretty. It looks like strawberry milk. It is strong, because it's a martini, it does taste like alcohol, but it tastes like ice cream. I don't know, I kind of like it, but it's definitely strong. I give it a four out of five. I'm drinking a martini that has ice in it because we ordered it from the outdoor bar and she didn't have the chilled glass, so I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> oh, it does say it comes with a graham cracker crust, but I don't think she could do that out here either. So if you like eat here, eat dinner inside, you'll probably get all the fancy stuff. Probably, I don't take my word for it, I don't know. <laughs> so this is the Hollywood light. So it's Captain Morgan, Patriot Bay, coconut rum, pineapple juice, and a splash of cranberry served with a souvenir glowing thing. I don't know. I don't know. What would you call it? Glowing cube. Let's see. It smells delicious. It really lit up. Oh my goodness. That's really good. You really get the coconut. You get the cranberry juice. And it smells really, really good. It smells really coconutty. Brown Derby knows how to make some cocktails. Right, Saber? Yeah. 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 Yay. Yeah. What are we, three drinks in? Three drinks in and we're feeling like we're ready to ride 
slinky dog dash. <laughs> Only like three more to go. I've been ready since I got here. You've been ready? Yeah. Well, we'll see how you feel two drinks from now. Okay. All right. Where are we going next? We're going to... Toy Story Land. Not Toy Story Land. I want to go so bad. Toy Story Land last. <laughs> We're going to go to... The Sunset Bar thingy thing. Thingy thing. I don't know the name of it. So in my notes, I put it down as the Sunset Bar Thingy Place Place. And that's exactly where we're going. That's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> We stopped by the Sunshine Day Bar, which is the correct name of the bar, and we got a cherry blossom drink. This is our fourth drink, fifth drink. How many drinks have we had? How many drinks have we had? <laughs> We're starting to fall apart here. The drink's called the Cherry Blossom. It's Bacardi, Cherry Liqueur, Pineapple Juice, and Grenadine. Where are we? Let me try it. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> It really does taste like you're shaking. <laughs> you're shaking so much. Imagine you're just drinking perfume. And that's this. Yeah. Yeah. Three out of five. Three cherries out of five cherries. Three grenadines out of five cherries. Okay, so zero. <laughs> so zero. You wanna try it? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try it because I don't believe Sean that it's bad. And it's bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah? But it's okay. I probably wouldn't order it again just because there's better things. I'm gonna eat this though. You know what time it is? Toy Story Land. Toy Story Land. No, this is like the, the what's it called? The thermos. And you take the lid off and you pour whatever's in it into that cup. Does that mean I'm old? That I know what that is? No. I bet kids nowadays don't know what a thermos is. No, people know what a thermos is. I bet you 50 bucks if you were to ask the next teenager what a thermos is, they would say no. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> That's not a teenager. Oh. <laughs> Came to Woody's lunchbox for the drink, but I was starving, so I wanted a little snack. So I got the tachos, which is chili cheese, sour cream. They have the little Frito chips in here and then green onions on the top. That's really good. This is a perfect little snack. I said little, but this is a lot of food. The chili is really good. It's nice and warm. The Fritos are crunchy. Perfect. It comes with Fritos? Yeah, there's Fritos in here. See? It was good. Five out of five. I would eat that again. So this is the Grown Ups Lemonade, which is a really, a really cute name for a drink. Um, this is Cherry Vodka, Lemonade, and Black Cherry Puree. It's $13.50. carbonated. How is it carbonated? It's just lemonade. I really like that. It did come out of like a draft beer tap so it is a pre-made cocktail and it doesn't really taste that strong so if you're looking for like street alcohol probably not this one but it's really really good. It just tastes like a black cherry soda. Five out of five. Ten out of ten. I like this. This is my favorite drink of the night. <laughs> Six out of five. <laughs> Love it. That's your favorite drink of the night? If you like NyQuil, if you like the taste of NyQuil, you'll love this. Like it's carbonated NyQuil basically. No, it's not. It's a nice black cherry flavor. A nice black berry flavor. Black cherry. Black cherry, I'm sorry. You know what? If you do like black cherry, black berry, black cherry, what's the difference? Fruits. They're not different fruits. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, I just learned that black cherry is an actual fruit. So if you like black cherry, you'll like this. Well, it just reminds me of 
like NyQuil. No, no. This is for you. You take that. Rate it. Two out of ten. Two out of ten? Yeah. Two out of ten cherries that are black. <laughs> are we waiting 40 minutes? <laughs> How about Toy Story Mania for 10 minutes? And then we can come over here and do this, and that'll equal an hour. Okay. That's it. No. Because you're a little beaver. <laughs> like you a little scary cat. Like the best in the beaver was that. I don't know. What well, definitely was not that. Best this month was five ninety four. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> All right, how's that ride? How many drinks we had? Five. And you're feeling fine. Yes. Okay, cool. That's my favorite ride. Oh, really? Yeah. Besides, besides. Oh, okay, I didn't notice until we were in line that you're wearing your Toy Story shirt, so it makes sense. Yeah, of course. I planned for this. No, oh, okay, it's my cool. favorite land. Oh, I'm sorry. But we're gonna go home. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you love us, subscribe. If you want to see breakfast at Universal, hit the video below me. Bye.